there was six or seven of us boys, and we had to obey my dad. And we always realized it afterwards. <laughs> Whitewater, Kansas was farm country, a uh, type line in a small town. Lewis was my oldest brother. He was the first one in the Navy. My brother was always very important to me anyway. He loved people and he, he liked to go to school. My dad got a telegram and we were all at home in the evening. My brother, Lewis, he died in Pearl Harbor. And made life hard to think about it. It was hard to see the unidentified headstones of these mass graves because they're people. They're a person. They're someone who is a member of a family. They're somebody's daughter or son. I mean, I was glad to see there was something, but it was still empty as far as who's really there. I think it's very important for our country to identify the remains of unidentified servicemen for the sole purpose of giving families closure for letting not just families, but others in our country be aware of people who sacrificed for them. My father made many phone calls and sent letters to find out where this stood on identifying his remains. My dad presented DNA to help identify Uncle Lewis's skull. Lewis and another chaplain were one of the first ones to have their bones tested by DNA and then they notified the family, and they've been trying to bring him home for 10, 15 years now. I've always thought about Lewis. He's always been on my mind. It seemed like I could see him, I could see his body and remember it. To have him come home, actually, to be close to all of us means a whole lot to them and to me. It was wonderful to receive that news because I knew how long they had waited for this to happen and hoped for it to happen. It's close to my heart because I could tell my children and show my children what and who he was. He was a hero. Now he just seems like not a name, but a member of the family. There's other countries that don't do this and they can't understand why our country does this. And that just makes me proud that our country is willing to remember the, the people who have served. <laughs>